Okay, so great news for Raspberry Pi 5. Uh, Consta Kang has updated his version, which now has support for Vulkan 1.3. Now, rather than do a clean install, which is what I normally do with Consta Kang's builds, I've had a question about upgrading, so I thought I'd show how to upgrade the current version you've got. I've already upgraded this one, and it actually retained the apps that were on there. So I installed AppTide, Ada64, and Vulkan Caps Viewer. This was a, a clean install before, but I did the upgrade and these all stayed on there. So if we go to Vulkan Caps Viewer, it's now gone up to 1.3.289, and as you can see, Raspberry Pi 5, and the driver version 24.2.0. So let's go to Consta Kang's page and show you what's changed. So if we click on any of the Consta Kang pages and then go to Devices and Raspberry Pi 5. Just close down this ad. And we can scroll down and the version I'm using is Lineage OS 21 or Android 14. And you can see August 16th was the last update. And if we scroll down a bit further, you'll get the change log. So this tells you what's changed since the last version. It's also really useful, this page, lots of information on it. And also the comment section is useful as well. So have a look at that if you're having any troubles. So 16.8 is the most recent one. And you can see here Vulcan 1.3, thanks to the people at Agalia for Vulcan 1.3 conformance. Update to FFmpeg, update to Lib Camera. Also live update to Mesa, which is also the graphics drivers, newer Linux kernel, a newer security patch as well for Android. So great changes there. Uh, the version I was upgrading from, which is this one, 18.6. Now this is the video I've got a full tutorial on how to install, how to install the Google Play Store and set it all up and everything. So you can use that video to install this latest version and it will be the same method. Or if you've got this version, and these are basically the month they came out, so this is the 18th of June. And this newer one is from the 16th of August. So let's close this one down, and I'll boot up with the one that I installed before, because I've got a load of apps in there. I've got the Google Play Store and everything else. So you can see all sorts of things on here, including the Google Play Store, and just to show that's all working and everything. But if I want to install the Vulkan uh, Checker, Let's do it on here. I'm sure it's on the Play Store, but I installed it before from Aptide because that's the only store I had on that other OS. So yeah, this one here, Hardware Caps Viewer, install. And this is all running from an SD card, as was the other one. I generally use SD cards with Android on a Raspberry Pi 5 just because I think the OS is so light that it, it just copes with it fine. Uh, whereas things like Linux, especially things like Windows, NVMe makes a huge difference. So you can see here the version is 1.2.2. So we want to upgrade that. And to do that, we're going to do that within the operating system. So let's open up the browser. Let's go to Consta Kang's page again. And just click on one Raspberry Pi 5. See how snappy it is? I'm not cutting anything out of this bit. Obviously this is an advert, so I have to close that down. And Lineage OS. And we're looking for the OTA version, so the update version. But if you're following my tutorial of how to do a clean install, you want to download this one. So this is the full build. This is the update. So let's click on the update. And we usually have a capture that comes up here, or free access. And then if I go back, it should show up. Ah, here we go. I'm not a robot. Oh, crikey. Look how many motorcycles there are. Let's go with that. Yeah, that's all right. There's one I was using on my Chromebook that didn't work, and I must have done about 30 of them. This is for something else. Absolute nightmare. Right, so start download. So this is the OTA version. Download. And that will just download into the downloads folder by default. If I drag down from the top left, so left click and drag down, you can see download manager. And if I open that up, we can see it's downloading here. So while that's doing that, I can click on settings, type in here, this top box, advanced. And you can see advanced restart, click on that. 
and we need to scroll down and enable it. You can see mine's already enabled, so by default it's off, but mine's enabled. So now I can go back, just check on those downloads, and just wait for that to finish. Okay, so that download is finished now, so I can hit the power button and uh, restart and recovery. And this will boot us into TWRP, which looks like this. And then we have an install version. So click on install, looking for that version. So this is the version from the 16th of August, OTA.zip. So click on that, left click and swipe it to the right. And you'll see that it'll do the patch or the update. Okay, so just coming to the end now, script succeeded. So we can just hit reboot and system. So I restarted and it gave me a black screen. Uh, I've just switched it off and switched it on again. And you'll see that it will wake my monitor. So that's just gone blue and my capture card goes blue just to say that there's a signal coming through. But it doesn't actually work. Now I did have a tip about adding display underscore auto underscore detect equals one from Andreas Johnson. Uh, relating to Android, but I've never had an issue with monitors. This is a 1080 monitor and it's always worked for me. I did try that and it didn't work in this instance. But what I have noticed, uh, if I grab the SD card out, pop it into an SD card reader and put it into my iPad, I can use the file system. And I could do this in Raspberry Pi OS or various other operating systems, but you get a boot partition uh, and in that boot partition, so we've got config.txt, and you can see the display line that I've put in, I've actually hashed it out because it didn't make any difference for me, but display underscore auto underscore detect equals one. Yeah, it didn't work for me, but there is another option on there, which is to go into resolution and change your resolution. Now you can see it says 800 by 480. I don't know why it's on that, um, but I'm gonna change it to 1920 by 1080 and then just go back and you can see it's saving it on there and then I can just close that down unplug this put my SD card back in my Pi and hopefully it'll work because it did before on the previous one that I flashed okay my monitors come on and it is booting great well, that was unexpected, but it's working now. So let's log in and let's just have a look. Yeah, all my apps seem to be there. Let's see if the Play Store still works. It does. And uh, does my Vulkan app show that I've got the new update? So where's the Vulkan app? Here. Yeah, API version 1.3.289. Excellent, so it's worked. And here's Kelly Slater's on GameCube. Seems to be coping with it really well. Uh, the graphics are nice and smooth. Let's see if I can get back in the wave a bit more. Yeah, it looks pretty decent actually. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.